Hello, I'm Greg Wheeler. The Patterns of Thinking method allow your students to learn content knowledge and thinking skills in parallel. The Patterns of Thinking, or DSRP, can be used with any student in any subject area at any grade level. You can teach your students to recognize relationships, R, by using guiding questions. Is this idea related to that idea? How? Can you think about this idea as a relationship between two other ideas? Relationships, the interaction between cause and effect, is a universal pattern of thinking. Think blocks are a great way to model relationships. Students can use their magnetic feature to connect and relate any two ideas. And think blocks make it easy to make an implicit or hidden relationship into one that is explicit and no longer hidden. Students can now hold this relationship in their hands. Let's say that your class is studying how plants grow. How is temperature related to plant growth? Students may respond and say things like, warm temperatures help plants grow. In higher grades, students could examine this same structure and look for a more nuanced relationship between temperature and plant growth. Older students may say that help is just one of the many parts of this relationship between temperature and plant growth. Or you could ask students to use one idea as a relationship between two others. For example, can you think about a novel as the relationship between two other ideas? Students might say that a novel relates a writer and their audience. Or they may say that a novel is the relationship among members of a literature circle. With think blocks, students learn to think very deeply about these relationships. Unlike traditional mind maps, when students write two ideas and connect it with a line, here we can really see their thinking. The patterns of thinking and think blocks treat the line no different than these circles. A relationship becomes a distinction. It can have a system of parts and holes. And these relationships can become perspectives too. Over time, students learn to look for relationships that connect the many subjects they study in school to critically examine relationships, to become less prone to media manipulations of relationships, and to think scientifically about how variables relate. With the Patterns of Thinking method, your students learn about relationships, the cause-effect structure universal to all ideas. The magnetic feature of think blocks reminds them that all ideas can be related and to make those relationships explicit, offering them a tactile way to learn about relationships.